Welcome to the weekly dose of Amuna for Shabbat Kodesh. Shabbat, my love to you, Hashem. You know, people don't derive the same joy and satisfaction from their Avodat Hashem, as we said last Shabbat audio, um, as they did in the past. In today's world, as we know, there are two different categories um, of mitzvot, right? There's the categories of mitzvot between fellow and those that are between man and Hashem. So if we understand, uh, you know, that mitzvot between man and his fellow, it of course requires that we be nice to one another, show consideration for one another, uh, for one another, and that of course what's encapsulated basically is um, the idea of ha right? It requires us to be um, loving and understanding towards our fellow man. Now, we understand that. We understand that, you know, there's a need to be a mensch and treat people nicely. The question is, do we look at Hashem from more or less that same, those same eyes? Do we understand that Hashem, so to speak, is also a real personality in our lives? Do we understand that when we relate to Hashem, we need to relate to Him, so to speak, as though He's our friend? That he hears everything that we say and he's happy or has for shalom pain so to speak by everything that we do and when we do we understand that when we um do a mitzvah it so to speak complements hashem and pays him uh, a note of gratitude a karasatov for um us enjoying that aspect that we're enjoying if it's the fruit or if it's uh, something particular that we've bought for ourselves and so on so let's just understand that when we say you should love your friend as yourself, we should treat Hashem with the same due care and respect. And understanding this point is really the heart and soul of Judaism as a whole, right? What message do we get when uh, do we uh, is conveyed to us essentially when you when we read the verse you saw what I did to you in Egypt? Essentially what Hashem was telling us at that point, Hashem said, you, did you see those harsh plagues that, that it never even touched you, that you never even were harmed by it, that the water turned to blood, that frogs took over and were absolutely everywhere, that there were all these wild beasts roaming around the streets and you were spared from everything. Do you know why all this happened? Do you know why I did all this? because I wanted to take you out of Egypt. That's essentially what Hashem is telling us by telling us that particular Pasuk, you saw what I did uh, to Egypt. Hashem essentially was saying to us, if you understand and remember that when the Egyptians oppressed you, it bothered me so much, I couldn't bear it. And the reason why I brought about those horrible plagues upon them and subjected them to punishments that were never there before, you know what the message is here, Hashem is telling us? It's because you do mitzvot and I will give you health. You keep Shabbat and I am going to give you good children because we have a covenant. We have an agreement. And so essentially, we have a relationship of love between Am Yisrael and Hashem, uh, Hashem Barach. We have a real live relationship of love. And that's what Shabbat is all about. Shabbat is that key mitzvah, that key mitzvah. And that creates that certain situation where we find Hashem and we are with Him in a very real, tangible way. Hashem gives us Shabbat so we could find Him, so we could really feel His, His closeness. And to the extent that we bring Hashem into our lives, so too Shabbat will feel different for us. Because essentially, Shabbat is an expression of that relationship. It's that deep connection down in the heart. And so if we work at finding that connection with Hashem, Shabbat will look different to us. Shabbat is expression, is the way that we express our love to Hashem, and Hashem expresses His love to us. How can you tell when two people love each other? Well, there could be a lot of bickering. And there could be a lot of going back and forth. He yells, she yells. But guess what? They're still a married couple. And so to speak, even though we may have differences, so to speak, between us and Hashem, we understand 
that the basic love is never lost and we still have a relationship with him and we can go through ups and downs in our ruchnius and from time to time we may not be as inspired and we need to inject ourselves with more muna and more closeness and we bring Hashem back into our lives and into our davening but you know what it's all about maintaining that relationship so even though we go again through ups and downs i still profess my love for you hashem and that's what all of us should be doing in the best most possible way shabbat kodesh so be'ezrat hashem let's emphasize our love to hashem let's work on feeling love for hashem and be'ezrat hashem our shabbat will have a sense of expansion We'll be able to feel our neshama yitara. We'll be able to feel that closeness of Hashem and feel a totally different Shabbat experience. Have a great Shabbat.